Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Dance Network, and we're at the Dizzy Feet Gala Foundation, where some of the dance industry's brightest stars are here to raise money for underprivileged youth. How do you feel? This is being the day before the Emmys. Are you feeling nervous? Have you been excited all week? Yeah, the, the nervous part for me is getting fancy. Like, I'm not a girly girl. I, I don't feel comfortable doing hair and makeup and stuff. Like, I have my work outfit, which is like a vintage black tee my black leggings and like a jean jacket. But I brought my leather jacket to like make me feel like me. <laughs> well, you look good. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you. you. Carry it well. But my leather jacket's literally my um, baby blanket, uh, like in an adult form. You know, like when I have it, I feel comfort and I feel like myself. Security. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but my folks just got in town. They're, they're at home. I haven't seen them yet. They came in from Texas. And so honestly, it feels like a celebration and a way to thank them for all their support. And my friends are here supporting, which is so nice because they've heard me talk and they've watched all my videos, bless their hearts. I'm like, here's this thing, and then this happens, and then Rachel's dressed like this, and then there's a 20s, and then there's a 1930s dance. You want to see? Here's rehearsal. Here's a video of playback. Anyways, like my one friend, Mackenzie, who moved here was like, man, I wish I was there to watch and be everything and see everything. And I was like, hey, remember when you said that you'd watch all my videos? Here you go. Here. <laughs> Well, I, I, we binge watched the show last week all the way through. You did? I did. I, I brought my husband along. Thank you. No, but it was fantastic. We were up at like 3 a.m. still watching. It were was you? so much fun. <laughs> what was um, your favorite song? You know, I, I still love um, the yoga one. I'm, I'm so still good at yoga. yoga. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. But, you know, I know that you love sort of the, the period piece at the end of the season. The black oh. and white. Oh yes, 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 yes. So Sen we'll settle, settle for me. Settle for me, yeah. Right. I'm so settle for me. Fun too, because it's honestly like how you feel. You know, when you go to those classes and, and there's that person that's like, "How do you?" I thought I was in shape, and and here you're like head, head standing, slowly into shadashana, randasana, randajam, whatever it is. Like I can't do this. And it's so overwhelming. And also the Christmas episode's really kind of killer. Oh yeah, well the Christmas episode, fun fact, the actual, the, the West Covina all-male dance team that he was like a part of the high school. With all the flannel. Right, we hired the actual West Covina all-male dance team. Like legitimately sophomores, freshmen. And, and it was funny because when we were talking about it, they were like, look how amazing this dance is. I was like, you get for competition dances for high school kids. They literally rehearsed hundreds of hours for that three minute thing. And this is television. At the mall. Exactly. Well, no, I'm saying that when they, when they do their competition. Right, of course. Like in real life. Yeah. But I was like, we have six hours to rehearse a thing that you want to look like they've been rehearsing for 100 hours. But they nailed it. They were so great and so excited. We literally did it in three takes and moved on. Although I was like, why isn't Rashawn dancing? He can dance. Oh, yeah, Rashawn's good. I actually sent like choreography for them to learn in the auditions. Rashawn's got swag. He's got a lot of swag.